are ready to stitch our outer border block. The supplies you will need will be some battleizer. We have this all hooped up with step number one already stitched on it. The thread you will need will be thread A with a matching bobbin, thread C with a matching bobbin, and thread D with a matching bobbin. You will need your strip set. This is strip set one. There is also a strip set two that you make another set of blocks with, which will have different colors of fabric. You will need a strip of fabric three, and you will also need your backing fabric. Wonder tape and wash away thread. Let's get started. On your strip set for this particular block, you need to make sure you press your seam toward the wider piece of fabric. Before beginning the block, let's talk a little bit about our strip set. This particular block, we are going to use strip set one. You will make 22 of these blocks using strip set one and 22 of them using strip set two. Strip set one or two will belong in this location right here. You will then place fabric three or four in this location right here. So for step number one, we've already got that stitch onto our battleizer. Step number two, we need a scrap of fabric one. We're going to place it at the bottom in the center. We will put wash away thread in our needle only and we'll let the sewing machine stitch a tack down stitch. Our step two is ready to be trimmed. We will trim a scant quarter inch inside the block. We will leave that half inch outside the block right where it is. For step three, we will switch to a neutral thread in the needle only. We will take our strip of fabric three because we are using strip set one. We will place it right side to our last piece of fabric. If we were using strip set two, we would use fabric four instead of fabric three in this location. So we are ready to put it back under the machine and the machine will stitch a seam right in this location. Here's our seam from step number three. So we are ready to flip our fabric right side up, smooth it out, put it back under the machine, and let our sewing machine stitch a tack down stitch. Here's our tack down stitch from step number four. We're going to go ahead and trim off our excess fabric. And the next step will be to place our strip set for step number five. So we are ready to place our first strip set for step number five. We're going to cut a small piece of wonder tape and place it in the seam allowance where the first strip set will go right between the placement stitches. Peel off the paper backing. And then we'll take our strip set number one and we will place it right side to the first fabric that we stitched, making sure our seam is pressed opposing, which it is. Make sure you extend your strip set at least a quarter inch past the placement line and slide it into place till you feel it locking. And once you feel it locking, you can press it into place, check it to be sure it's in the right position and it is and so now we can slip it back into our machine and let the sewing machine stitch the seam. Here's our seam from step number five so the next step will be to tack it down. When I fold it up you can see that the seam matches perfectly. To help me hold it while it's tacking it down I think it's real important to use our wonder tape in this location. We'll place it over the placement stitch and when you fold back your strip set check to be sure that seam runs right along that placement stitch on the battleizer. That wonder tape will hold it in place while your machine stitches the tack down. 
So here's our tack down from our last set. So now it's time to finish the rest of the block. We will continue the same process that we just did. We'll take our fabric 3, place it right side to the last fabric 3, flip it up, smooth it out, tack it down, then our strip set, right sides together, matching your seam lines, stitch it, flip it, tack it down, and continue until the entire block is done. We have a tip for you for placing your strip sets for the outer border block. After you make a couple of these blocks, you'll probably realize you will not need to place Wonder Tape in the seam location. If you do really good pressing on your strip sets with starch and make sure you have a nice sharp crease, you'll be able to lock that strip set into place because your seams are opposing. Just by sliding it into place, you will feel it lock in. Then you'll be able to stitch it. However, I do place Wonder Tape in the next area, which is over that placement stitch after the seam is stitched. And I make sure my seam line from my strip set aligns with the placement stitch on the battleizer. Your quilting ends up exactly in these diamonds and these strip set areas. And the more perfect you do your piecing, the better your quilting will align. For step 23, you will need a scrap of fabric 3. You will place it right sides together in the corner, raw edges even. And for step 24, you will need the opposite scrap, right sides together, raw edges even, and the machine will stitch a seam. Here's our two seams that we just did. We're going to flip our fabric right side up and smooth out. For step 25, you will put wash away thread in your needle only. Let the machine tack down in this corner. And step 26, it'll do a tack down in this corner. So here's the look at the front of our outer border block all stitched. You can see all of our seams are beautifully aligned, so our quilting should also align beautifully. We're ready to do step 27, which is to place the back on. So we'll turn over our hoop, we'll place the back backing fabric, centering it over the placement stitches. And after we get it centered, we'll turn it back over, slide it under the machine, and we'll base the back on, leaving the water-soluble thread in the needle. Step 28. Time to do beautiful quilting that's designed and digitized by Master Quilter Sharon Schomber. We are going to go ahead and place our thread C in the needle in the bobbin because we are using strip set 1. If we were using strip set 2, we would then place thread D in the needle in the bobbin. Step 29, we will continue with our beautiful quilting by Sharon Chamber. We will use thread D in the needle in the bobbin and stitch the opposite side of the block. The last step, step 30, we will place thread A in the needle in the bobbin we will stitch the last of the beautiful quilting by Sharon Chamber in the little diamond areas. So here's our completed outer border block and you can see with careful placement of your strip sets your beautiful quilting will land exactly where it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm.